Great face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We're recording this at 1230 at night in our <laughs> Super A Motel. Which is totally <laughs> super. in here it's in the shower so obviously that's not to code so that won't fly but we're going to tell you about the food we've had the last couple of days uh, on our road trip $22 breakfast in airport <laughs> $22 for like what it did you get the best meal we've had in three days <laughs> <laughs> what did you get like a croissant sandwich a croissant egg and bacon so I got a burger and it was delicious and it was from uh, Guy Fieri. Guy Fier Fieri. Uh, and Wolfgang Puck. And she had Wolf <laughs> Wolfgang Puck. <laughs> so mine was a couple dollars cheaper. But it was seriously like $7 for a naked juice. <laughs> <laughs> and then we took all day to fly here, <clears throat> moved forward, got our hotel, woke up, free continental breakfast. I saw some PB&J. So Katie made us both toast. <laughs> Toast. <laughs> it was cardboard. So I threw it down. I went and made some oatmeal. And they had maple brown sugar, my go to flavor. Hot water. They had styrofoam cups, because that's all they have. No bowls. And they had <laughs> made cereal, me some oatmeal. But you had no bowls for the, the <laughs> no cold bowls cereal. For the cereal. <laughs> or milk for the cold cereal. No, there was milk in a little carafe. There was uh, milk. I, I wasn't about to drink that milk because if you know one labeled I couldn't see their expiration date. <laughs> They had these pre-made omelets and some oh, sausage yeah. that was just left out. Oh. <laughs> it was so bad. It was so we barely really didn't eat. Uh, but I took a banana for the road that I didn't eat. And lunch was the number one barbecue place in Tennessee. <laughs> so we went to Big Big Bob's or Big Bill's? <laughs> Big we something and it wasn't good. So it was down the street from Graceland, which was amazing. If you ever... In Memphis, you gotta have Graceland. It was worth it Even for seventy-five dollars. Don't buy something out of the first gift shop though, because every single <laughs> <laughs> That's how they the gift the shop tour for the next tour. <laughs> but at the end of it all, I went back to the very first gift shop because it was more patriotic than the rest of them. They all had a theme. Anywho, that okay. was our personal preference. Fast forward, we went to Big <laughs> Big Bob's, Big Bills, whatever barbecue. Nasty. Looks great. There's pictures on the wall of pork nachos and they had pulled pork sandwich. Amazing, right? So I ordered a pulled pork sandwich and I asked for a sweet tea. We in Memphis, you gotta have some sweet tea. Uh, girl, used to be black in a previous life. I love my fried chicken and my sweet tea. Don't have no sweet tea. We leave. Fine. I'll get a Dr. Pepper. They only have canned soda. <laughs> no fountain drinks. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, don't ask for a cup of ice. <laughs> no, save that, that save that for the end. Then um what else happened? So then I get a, I get a can of Dr. Pepper. I'm on vacation, I can have a soda. Fine, so be it. No one's gonna judge me. I will. <laughs> Katie don't judge. Uh, so I get a can of soda, Dr. Pepper, not a problem. But Katie was also gonna order the pulled pork sandwich, and what we normally do is tag team it and get two different meals. Well, I wanted her to get the beef one. But they ain't got no beef. <laughs> Fine. So be it. Whatever. They asked what I wanted for the side. I got french fries. She said they were good. But then later, we get to this other, the same restaurant. I'm, get, I'm getting ahead. Okay, so she goes to order. <laughs> so she gets a pulled pork sandwich. <laughs> she wants some mac and cheese. They ain't got any. <laughs> they say you got potato salad? They say we don't got any. <laughs> don't got any. Potato salad. And I go, how come y'all have this on the menu and you ain't got no sweet tea, you ain't got no potato salad, no mac and cheese? And she goes, oh, well, there's another one. This menu ain't our menu. They need to change it. <laughs> so I go, how far is this other establishment? And she got to go ask somebody. And, no, then, he got, and then he had to go ask somebody. He asked four people. And I said, it's okay, I can Google it. What is the name of this place? 
nice when I'll Google it. So he come out and he like, oh, it's like 15, 20 minutes from here. And we're like, all right, I'm thinking, Katie, is that okay? She goes, no, let's just eat here. I'm hungry. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll eat here. No sweet tea. No problem. No potato salad. No problem. No mac and cheese. No problem. No problem. Can't get beef brisket. We're fine. <laughs> but you don't have a cup of ice. I gotta go. So she goes to order Dr. Pepper. And she goes, oh, I want the fountain soda. And I go, Katie, did you hear the girl? They only have cans. So she goes, well, can I at least get a cup of ice? <laughs> So and Katie looks at me and I go, all right, we're leaving. Let's go. <laughs> so we hop on two freeways. <laughs> two, two, two freeways. Two freeways. I it really, three walls. <laughs> it was only 18 minutes away, so it wasn't that far. But we get inside, and here's the kicker. First thing I ask, <laughs> can I get a sweet tea? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. When I'm buying any sweet tea, we ran out of sugar. <laughs> Let's just say they're right next door to a Kroger. She goes, I just made it though, and I can give you some sugar packets. And I'm like, girl, I just drove 20 minutes out of my way to this establishment to get some sweet tea. I will take your sugar packets. Not a problem. I said, do you have beef brisket on the menu? Yep. Okay. You got potato salad? Yep. You got mac and cheese? All right. We're in business. Is your tortilla chips the round ones? Yes, they are. Okay. I so don't we, like those. It was so, we, so, we, so we proceed to get a pulled pork sandwich and a beef brisket sandwich. And I like coleslaw on mine, so I got it. I got and coleslaw on mine. And she asked what my sides are, and I'm like, what is with this spaghetti? Does everybody out here eat spaghetti? And she's like, oh, yeah, you got to try it. And I go, no, no, no. I'll just get green beans. That's just weird to me. Because she goes, oh, it's got barbecue sauce in it. It's not spaghetti at all. It's just barbecue sauce with the noodles. And I'm thinking, that is just beyond. Yeah. I like to try new things. But that is, yeah, it just doesn't go together. I'm a little too white, Italian, <laughs> whatever. I don't know. You're not Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I like my spaghetti with marinara, okay? Meat sauce? No, yeah. barbecue sauce. She goes, it is so good. I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> I'm going to give it to you for free, so I was like, says. cool. She was so excited. She like, I gotta see you eat it. I gotta see your face when you take that bite. <laughs> I was like, bitch. I was trying to disguise my <laughs> face because it was just like eating sweet baby rays right, <laughs> right out of the not. bottle. And then Katie ate some. I had her try it. And she straight up said, because I wasn't about to say it out loud. <laughs> Tell me what she said. <laughs> And she's with an earshot. She goes, oh, no, that's a homemade barbecue sauce. I was like, she goes, we didn't put ground turkey in it. It's got ground. That's the difference. We got ground turkey in it and homemade barbecue sauce. It tastes just like SpaghettiOs, but with barbecue sauce. If you've ever eaten SpaghettiOs, they're not good. Don't judge. Some people like them. Okay, whatever. In my opinion. In our opinion. <laughs> How was the rest of the meal? Um, we didn't finish and we left. <laughs> it was mediocre. So for one, I, I thought mean, there'd be good barbecue in the South. They didn't even marinate the meat. It had zero seasoning. It was done zero flavor. After. It was dry. There was no juice to it. And the barbecue sauce just tasted like a bottle of Baby Ray's, which I love me some Baby Ray's. It's my number one barbecue sauce at the Winko. <laughs> <laughs> but not Shout what I expected Kelly. from a Memphis barbecue spot. Okay, fast forward to now. We don't get into our hotel. We had to drive six hours. Which we stopped at Caliber Coffee. If you're ever in the area, Holy you gotta grab cow. you some Caliber Coffee. Frappes don't come with caffeine, so you gotta ask for an extra shot of espresso, and you're gonna pay, pay like ten dollars for a coffee. Y'all, the best coffee you ever had. And fast forward three more hours. <laughs> we check into our hotel. <laughs> he proceeds to tell us all these rules, which, mind you, we stayed at Super 8 yesterday. Shitty breakfast, but at least there was breakfast. He proceeds to tell me, no pets, no smoke, <laughs> no breakfast. <laughs> and what we else? a 24-hour coffee bar. The juice is only open from 6, <laughs> six to, to 11. 6 to 9. You can <laughs> order juice from 6 oh, to 9. What, what is the pool? Is, is there a pool? Or is that a spa? And he looks at me and he goes... That's our pool. Because <laughs> it's like the size of two queen beds. So it just looked like it an oversized spa. It was a really small, smaller than any pool I've ever seen in a small backyard with a small pool. 
But they had an elevator, which was nice because we got to use the bellhop and take our stuff upstairs. That was a plus. However, we when we did. pulled we in, <laughs> however, when we pulled in, it looked like that condo you saw in Miami, like the side of the building has <laughs> no fascia. It's just like, you know, like it's just being built, like it might fall down. <laughs> it's a little scary. Yet you drive underneath this building and it's held up by scaffolding. So it's a little bit scary. And not to mention it's on a really steep hill. So uh -huh. Katie couldn't see coming down and you nope. can't see going out. Nope. <clears throat> and then there's all these pillars everywhere. So you gotta be really careful parking the car. So that was fun. So we go out to get dinner and there's this huge shopping center with a Ferris wheel, Margaritaville, Paula Deen, there's Timberwolf Lodge. Right. Timberwolf something. Uh, Dick's something, rest Dick's Last Resort, which is a restaurant where they're intentionally mean to you and you, I guess, like it. It's kind of semi-amusing. Couldn't get into the parking lot because the Google Map dot had the address somewhere way fucking different than the restaurant. Pardon my French. F Google. And then, uh, so we finally maneuvered our way in there. Every single restaurant was closed, even though it said it was open until midnight, some of them. Some of them were open until 11, they were closed. Yep. So then we were scouting for more food. <laughs> TGI Fridays was closed. <clears throat> Burger King was closed. <laughs> So we find Gino's Pizza. People at Gino's, very sweet. Working very hard. Very hard working. Every single order was messed up. There was a guy that had to redo a couple of things a couple of times, and he was, like, getting really upset at the front cashier lady because he didn't understand why he was making the same orders two times. But apparently their delivery driver came in and just grabbed all the pizzas that were ready and took off of them, and half of them were for the folks on the inside, so some lady waited two and a half hours for her pizza. Well, we order, and I just went... The, you know, the people in front of us, they close in like 20 minutes. The people in front of us can't make up their mind. So I make eye contact with the cashier and she kind of ushers us forward. So I'm like, Katie, let's order. So like, what do you want? I'm like, barbecue chicken pizza, garden salad, cheesesteak. Not a problem. Her computer goes down. So then she rekeys in our She's meal to the computer, <laughs> computer next to her. She goes, it's okay. I'm going to put it all in. It was $32. And I went, wow, it's so cheap here. But I got a medium pizza and the salad was $7. I don't know. I just assumed it was right. So, you know, fast forward 30 minutes or so, they call my name. I go get it. And Katie's like, where's the sandwich? And I look at the ticket. They gave us our ticket back. And I go, there's no sandwich on here. And they're closed at this point. And I go up to the lady and I said, I am so sorry, but I think when your register went down and you retyped in the order, it went down before you entered the cheesesteak. Oh my God, Katie, I got bugs. Oh. Okay, I'm so gross. <laughs> So she didn't rekey in the cheesesteak, which is why it was so cheap. So I had to go up to her and say, ma'am, I think when you switch computers, you didn't order the cheesesteak. Is there any way we could still get this cheesesteak sandwich? And she yells to the cook, can you do this? And he's like, why? Who's it for? Why would I do that? And she's like, just do it. Just do it for me. It's for this lady. Can you just do it? Just go do it. Like, just, just go figure it out. I like she knew she effed up, so she was asking the cook a favor because she obviously After gonna go we make spent a sandwich. An hour looking for a place to be open. <laughs> so anyway, then he comes out with his cheesesteak and proceeds to tell her, "You ain't gonna eat all this." <laughs> so while we were waiting for the cheesesteak, we did eat the salad, which she found some very brown purple cabbage in there. I don't even know how that exists, but it is. <clears throat> but I had to ask her for the fork, the plate, the napkins. I had to get my own two liter of soda. What else? I don't know. It was interesting. And we had to wait extra time. It was very interesting. So needless to say, we started our venture at 9.30. And I think it was 12.30 by the time we got back and had some. So I'm having a cocktail. Dr. P right here. And <coughs> that concludes day oh, no, two. you didn't even tell him how that tastes. Oh, my pizza? Yeah, you didn't You even, should see this pizza. You didn't even tell him how it tastes. So these little bits of chicken... If you've ever the made like Foster Farms strips, I think it's those pre-made frozen <laughs> strips and it was so dry. And then if you ever like barbecue pizza, it normally doesn't have pizza sauce on it. It's barbecue sauce. Can you tell I like barbecue? Had barbecue sauce with some cheese, some red onion, maybe green onion, and not that kind of chicken, not cubed chicken that you'd put on a salad. Um, but anyway, it's neither here nor there. It's like one of the worst pizzas I ever had. <laughs> but they were very sweet people. And they were open and they fed us and they fed my friend. And bless them. But We won't go back. We will not be going to Gino's Pizza. Oh, yeah.
<laughs> but that concludes this evening's broadcast of the trip to Tennessee day two. Thank you all for watching.